And for perspective on Sarah Palin's appearance today and the overall Republican race for president, we are joined in Washington by political analyst John Dickerson. John, good evening to you. Good evening, Russ. So what do you think? Is Sarah Palin really testing the waters here or is she just reinforcing her brand? She is testing the waters. She's out delivering her message and, and seeing what kind of a reception she gets. And if she does want to run, there's no better way to do it than to present yourself as simply answering the call of a popular groundswell. If in the end she decides not to, her brand is in good shape. She becomes the most sought after endorsement from other Republicans, which means she'll have a lot of power within the Republican Party. We heard John McCain say he believes that Sarah Palin could beat Barack Obama in a general election, of course, but let's not even go that far. Let's talk about the nomination. What do you think? Does she have a chance of even getting the nomination. She has a core of supporters in the Republican Party, but outside of that very devoted core, she has some difficulty. One, she is very unpopular among independent voters, and so in a general election, she would have a very tough hill to climb. That worries some Republicans. But also her favorable numbers, the number of people who think of her favorably in the Republican Party, has been going down. One thing to test from this bus tour is if she's able to improve her image just within her own party, that will give us some indication. If she can't do that, then she's not going to be able to do it in the cut and thrust of an actual campaign. John, let's talk about a couple of wild cards out there. Texas Governor Rick Perry says he'll think about running. Rudy Giuliani, not in the race either, yet he's ahead in at least one poll. What does that say to you? It's just another sign that Republicans are unhappy with the field as it's set right now. What some strategists worry, though, is when people like Governor Perry say they'll think about it, it forces Republicans to wait again a little bit more and not focus on the current field. John Dickerson. As always, thanks a lot.